looking at this hour, the White House going on offense, firing back at Democrats for continuing to slam the president in the wake of those two horrific shootings over the weekend. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Smith. And I'm Rick Leventhal, in for Bill Hemmer. The president will be heading down to Texas and Ohio tomorrow to join those two communities in mourning right now. But 2020 Democrats refusing to back down from their attack, saying the president has not done enough on gun control, suggesting his rhetoric is to blame. Kelly and Conway firing back, saying whatever the president does, it will never be enough for Democrats. People are allowing nonstop uh, punditry by at least two of the presidential can Democratic presidential hopefuls. Beta or work from the Vanity Fair magazine cover to the Vanity Project candidacy out there screaming and cursing about President Trump. That doesn't heal a single soul. That doesn't help prevent another mass shooting. They're raising their profile. And Elizabeth Warren yesterday was raising money for Senate candidates Doug Jones and Tina Smith. She's raising money in an email appeal talking about the mass shooting. This is a disgrace, and if nobody else is going to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. They all blamed him, and I want to name and shame them now because he did not respond in kind. They want to be president. He is the president, and he's trying to bring the country together. Rich Edson is live at the White House where the administration is battling back against critics. Rich? Hey, good morning, Rick. And the White House wants Congress to return. Democrats say Republicans should work with them on gun control legislation that's already passed the House. Earlier this week, the president promised to give law enforcement whatever they needed to address domestic terrorism. He also tweeted that Congress should pass strong background checks and then suggested they marry that with any gun legislation and immigration reform. The White House criticized Democrats and said Congress should scrap at least some of its summer break. We can't get our advice from people screaming on TV. Those who are elected to do their jobs here in Washington really should either return to Congress or come here to the White House to speak to the president. Around here where the president works constantly, we wonder why they leave for six weeks in the first place. But their constituents can ask them that question. Congressional Democrats are throwing this one back at the Republican-controlled Senate, urging Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to bring up a bill the House passed in February to expand background checks. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer say, quote, Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell has called himself the Grim Reaper and refuses to act on this bipartisan legislation. It is incumbent upon the Senate to come back into session to pass this legislation immediately. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he's directed Senate committees to reflect on the subjects the president has raised to work on solutions without infringing on Americans' constitutional rights. The White House says President Trump will, pa will travel to El Paso and Dayton tomorrow. For now, it seems to be a quiet day at the White House. There are no public events on the president's schedule. Rick? Rich Edson, thanks very much.